All right, rabbit populations, a certain breed of rabbit, was introduced onto a small island about eight years ago. The current rabbit population on the island is estimated to be 4,100 with a growth rate of 55% per year. So as we kind of go through this, let's try to identify those key numbers. All right, eight years ago, the rabbits were dropped off. The current population is 4,100 and it's a growth rate of 55% per year. All right, so a big keyword that I did not see as I read through this was the keyword continuous or continuously. So being that I did not see that continuous or continuously or law of growth or exponential law of growth, none of those keywords came up to, to model this. I'm not gonna use that A equals P times E raised the RT. Instead, and this is important to note, without those keywords, we really should be pointing towards A of T equals P times one plus R over N raised to the N times T, just our compound interest formula. All right, so I've listed out A, P, R, N, T off to the side here. We wanna find what was the initial size of the rabbit population. So this can be a little bit tricky, but as we're trying to figure this out, it was eight years ago, that's a time frame that these rabbits were dropped off. Okay, so eight years ago, I'm gonna put that in for a T. The rabbits were dropped off. We don't know exactly how many were dropped off. That initial size is an unknown here. So we don't know what P is. Um, but this population over the last eight years has grown up to be 4,100 rabbits. So that's what it's grown up to be. So we can put that in for A. And the growth rate is 55% per year. Okay, 55%, we can make that into a decimal. 0.55, two decimal places over to do that. And then this per year also gives us some pieces of information, right? That the number of times this happens per year, right? That our compounding happens, that's N down here. So when we say it's 55% um, per year, that's happening once in a year. So I'm gonna put one in for N. Okay, so in filling into our formula, I think we can say 4,100 equals P, we don't know what that is, times one plus 0 0.55 divided by one raised to the one times eight power. Okay, so kind of filled in everything into our formula for compound interest up here at the top. You'll notice that we still don't know what P is. So we should probably do a little bit of work and find what P is. Solving for this shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and reduce down what's inside our parentheses because it's gonna be a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. It's gonna be pretty nice, right? That 0.55 divided by one makes 0.55. I can say one plus 0.55 is 1.55. And one times eight in our exponent is just eight. So to get P by itself, P is um, connected with multiplication to everything else on the side of the equation. So to get P all by itself, we'll divide by 1.55 raised to the eighth power. Um, even this, if this was something more complicated in here, um, hopefully we can put all of this into our calculator at the same time. So 4,100 divided by all of this. I went ahead and reduced down a little bit first, but I don't think you should need to. Okay, so P is going to be about 123 to the nearest whole rabbit were introduced onto this island that many years ago. Okay, so from here, um, we know our initial rabbit population. Let's try to answer part B. What's this population going to be in 12 years? All right, so 12 years from now, how many rabbits are going to, to be on this island? So that can be a little bit challenging figuring this out. So there are kind of two different ways to do this. So if I off to the side here, draw a quick timeline. And let's think about this. So today we have 4,100 rabbits. Eight years ago, these rabbits were dropped off and we just did the calculation that we started with 123 rabbits. Okay, what we really wanna know though is 12 years into the future, so if we start from today, look 12 years into the future, how many rabbits are we gonna have on this island? 
So the two different calculations we could make on this, and that doesn't look like a horizontal line, go with it, are either we can start with today's population. So we start with 4,100 and our rate hasn't changed, right? It's 0.55. Um, and I guess I need some more variables to go along with this and still gonna be one. And our time frame on this one, if we start with 4,100, we're only looking 12 years into the future. So we put 12 for our time frame, and we don't know what we end up with, so we don't know what A is. The other way to look at this, just to be kind of clear here, the other way to look at this is you could say, well, I'm going to start from when rabbits were initially introduced here. All right, so we have 123 rabbits. That's our starting amount. So what we found in part A. Now our rate hasn't changed. It's still this 0.55 compounded once a year, you know, per year, but our time frame has changed. That if we start here at 123 rabbits getting dropped off, we have to go eight years into the future to end up with today. And then we want to look 12 more years into the future to figure out, you know, 20 years from the in introduction of these rabbits, how many are going to be left. All right, so we can say this is A of 20, calculated as 123, multiplied by one plus 0 0.55 over one raised to the one times 20 power. Or we could calculate it as A of 12, 12 years into the future. If we start with 4,100 rabbits, today's number, one plus 0 0.55 divided by one raised to the one times 12 power. And these are gonna give us slightly different numbers, right? They're not far off, but they're, they are slightly different. So we go, 788,023 rabbits or 788,432 rabbits. Okay, just depending on which way you do your calculation. Now, I can see the logic in both of these. Um, they're both pretty good sound logical arguments for setting it up either way. I would say that the one that uses today's population, the 4,100 estimate is probably a little bit better than the 123 estimate um, as far as starting amounts go. And why that is, is in part A here, we did a little bit of rounding here to round to the nearest whole rabbit. So we dropped off some rabbits or a, a fraction of a rabbit here at the end that it was really 123.06 uh, or something along those lines. But you know, if you're thinking about dropping rabbits off on an island, you probably want to go to the nearest whole rabbit for our sanity. Um, but in general, I would say this is probably a little bit more accurate um, estimate for exactly the number of rabbits that'll be around 12 years from now. All right, hope this helps out on setting these up. Good luck as you're modeling exponential functions.